It's Wednesday, March the 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I sure hope that your corned beef and cabbage filled your stomach today to overflowing and satisfied your hunger. I want to share just a little bit about one of the main characters in the Easter season that we hear about. His name was Pontius Pilate. He was the governor of Judea, serving under Emperor Tiberius. And he's best known as serving and presiding over the trial of Jesus Christ. You see, there are three key background passages. They're in Mark 27, Luke 23, and John 19, which give an account of how Pilate was looking for every possible way to allow Jesus to go free. He would seriously ask him because there was no way he could find fault in anything that Jesus had done. But the religious leaders were pressing him. And they had stirred the crowds up and the hearts of the crowd because they were threatened by Jesus' authority, I believe. And Pilate, after examining the evidence, found absolutely no fault in Jesus Actually, he washed his hands of the situation, hoping that he could pass that on. You know, we fall sometimes into that same trap. When we have the power to make a decision that God's given us to make, and he leads us to make, we sometimes choose not to make the decision God's guiding us to make. We choose to avoid making that decision, which ultimately is making a decision. No decision is making a decision. Pilate was pushed, I believe, by fear of maybe losing his position as governor. So he chose to make a political statement instead, allowing the crowd to decide. Have you ever been in one of those situations where nobody really wanted to make the decision or they weren't comfortable with the question that was being asked and, and they began to say, well, hey, let's just let everybody else decide, well... Pilate was trying to set Jesus free and the crowd was going to have no part of it because the religious leaders did not want him to be set free. What did he do? What had he done? He made it a crowd choice. That's what Pilate did. He made it a crowd's choice. And when Pilate asked Jesus the question about having authority, Jesus reminded Pilate, that the only authority Pilate has was what God had given him, and that he actually had no authority over Jesus whatsoever because all of Jesus' authority came directly from his heavenly Father. You see, sometimes we listen to the crowd and we make decisions the same way Pilate did, based on fear. Partially because he didn't want to seem weak. Maybe we make some of the same decisions because we don't want to feel weak. My, my takeaway from, from Pilate's leadership style today is to allow God's direction, even when it may not be the most popular crowd decision or political view, honor God in all that you do. Pontius Pilate skated out, could have been well known as one who loved God, but chose to abandon his position. I trust that you won't do that. I trust that you won't give in to that temptation. I trust in the fact that you will truly trust God with all the decisions that you make, and you will make the decisions that honor him as his disciple. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Will you join me in prayer? Father, we're coming together, uh, lots of families uh, meeting, lots of fellowship. And Father, we're reminded that sometimes out of fear, sometimes out of selfishness, sometimes out of peer pressure, we make decisions that don't honor you. So my prayer for all who hear this word would make a choice to honor you with their decisions not to be a Pontius Pilate, not to be more concerned about their position than they are about their relationship with your son, Jesus. In Christ's name we pray, amen. God bless you and have a great rest of your Wednesday.